Hi everyone, what a beautiful night here in New York City. I'm here because uh, I just want to relax. Life nowadays is very difficult, especially during this time of uh, COVID-19 pandemic. But uh, we will continue our mission to educate our students about mathematics. And tonight, um, we're going to discuss about solving quadratic equations using quadratic formula. Um, in my previous video, uh, we have derived the quadratic formula from the general quadratic equations. So, are you ready? Well, let's go! Guys, today we will be solving quadratic equations using the quadratic uh, formula. So, this is the quadratic formula. X is equal to negative B plus minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. To those who are asking on how to arrive this kind of formula, so I have discussed this in my previous video on how to derive quadratic formula from the given um, general quadratic equation. Alright? So... We will have to give some examples. Solve uh, 6x squared minus x minus 5 is equal to 0. The equation is written in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now, we're going to identify, okay, identify the value of a, b, and c so that uh, we will use this, um, in our quadratic uh, formula all right so this is in quadratic form 6x squared minus x minus 5 is equal to 0 so definitely our a is 6 our b is negative 1 and our c is negative 5 so this is a quadratic formula all we have to do is to plug in these values in the quadratic formula simple substitution Alright, so x is equal to negative b, our b is uh, negative 1, so negative of negative 1 plus minus the square root of uh, b is negative 1, so that's b squared, uh, we squared negative 1 minus 4 times uh, a is 6, yeah, times negative 5, which is c, all over 2 times a, which is 6, then simplify x is equal to negative times negative 1, that's positive 1, plus minus the square root of negative 1 squared, that's negative 1 times negative 1, that's positive 1, plus um, negative 5 times 6, negative 30, times negative 4, positive 120. So, all over 2 times 6, that's 12. Simplify, we have 1 plus, this plus minus the square root of uh, 1 plus 120, that's 121 over 12. So we have x is equal to 1 plus minus 11 because square root of 121 is 11 all over 12. So we have two solutions. One is 1 plus 11 over 12 or x is equal to 1 minus 11 over 12 based on this. So we'll simplify the first solution x is equal to 11 plus 1, that's 12 over 12. This is equal to x is equal to 1. Second, we have x is equal to 1 minus 11, that's negative 10 over 12. This is reducible. So, our solution would be x is equal to negative 5 over 6. Let's go to another example. Suppose... 2x squared is equal to negative 4x minus 1. Notice that this uh, this is also a quadratic equation. However, this is not written in um, quadratic form. So, we will have to um, convert this to this form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, that we can be able to identify what is the value of a, b, and c. So, all we have to do is to add both sides of the equation by 4x and positive 1. So we have 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. To make this 0, 
is equal to negative 4x minus 1 plus 4x plus 1. Okay, simplify. We have 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. This is now 0. Alright, negative 4x plus 4x, that's 0. Negative 1 plus 1, 0. So, this is now in quadratic form. So, we can now identify our a, b, and c. Our a is 2, and our b is 4, and our c is 1. Okay, we have this quadratic formula. Um, substitute negative b, which is 4. Okay, negative um, your b is 4 plus minus square root of b squared, we squared 4 minus 4 a, your a is 2 times 2. And C is 1 times 1, all over 2A, your A is 2, okay? So, simplify, negative times 4, that's negative 4, plus minus square root of 4 squared, that's 16, minus um, 1 times 2, 2, 2 times negative 4, that's negative 8. So, over 2 times 2, that's 4. X now is equal to negative 4 plus minus 16 minus 8, that's square root of 8, over 4. So, our solution would be x is equal to negative 4 plus minus square root of 8 um, will factor 8 such that uh, one factor is a perfect square. So we have um, 4 times 2 and the square root of 4 is 2 and we have multiplied to square root of 2 all over 4. So we have two solutions. 1 negative 4 plus 2 square root of 2 over 4. Or x is equal to negative 4 minus 2 squared of 2 over 4. So we can still simplify this. Um, you factor this out. So we have factor 2. Okay, negative 4 times 2. That's negative 2 plus 2 squared of 2 divided by 2. So 1 squared of 2 or simply squared of 2 all over. Um, 4 is 2. Then we will have to cancel out 2. So, we have this solution, x is equal to negative 2 plus square root of 2 over 2. Another, x is equal to um, negative 4 minus uh, 2 square root of 2 all over 4. This is still reducible, so we can factor out the numerator and denominator. So, by 2, negative 4 divided by 2, that's negative 2. Negative 2 squared of 2 divided by 2, that's uh, negative 1 squared of 2 or squared of 2. And 4 is 2 times 2. So, we cancel out 2. So, we have the solution x is equal to negative 2 minus squared of 2 over 2. The solution set would be negative 2 plus squared of 2 over 2 and negative 2 minus squared of 2 over 2. Look, our solution set is um, real numbers. Okay? Alright, let's go to the next example. Suppose 3x squared minus 6x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, our quadratic equation is now in standard form. So, we have a is equal to 3, b is equal to negative 6, and c is equal to 4. So, let us substitute. Uh, given the quadratic formula x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, we're going to plug in the values for a, b, and c. So, negative b, that's negative of negative 6 plus minus the square root of negative 6 squared minus 4 times 3 times 4 and over 2 times 3 which is the value of a. Then we will simplify. So negative times negative 6 that's positive 6 plus minus the square root of negative 6 times negative 6 that's positive 36 minus 4 times 3 12 times 4 negative 48 and 2 times 3 is 6. So we have x is equal to 6 plus minus the square root of 12 all over 6. Based on this, so we can um, conclude that uh, we don't have a real uh, number solutions. So to proceed, um, 
our solutions for this is uh, an imaginary numbers or a complex numbers because in real numbers um negative inside the square root is uh, undefined so we will continue in imaginary numbers or complex numbers, we have this i squared is equal to negative 1 or 1 is equal to the square root of negative 1. All we have to do is to factor, us, uh, we're going to factor the radicand, which is negative 12. So we have 6 plus minus the square root of 12 times negative 1 because we will substitute negative 1 to i squared. Alright, so we have... 6 plus uh, minus the square root of 12 i squared over 6. And then, so our value inside the radical sign are all positive. So we have, um, for 12, 12 is not a perfect square, so we're going to factor 12 such that, I mean 12 t squared, um, such that one factor is a perfect square. So we have 6 plus minus the square root of 4i squared. 4i squared is a perfect square times 3. So that's equal to 12i squared over 6. Then we have x is equal to 6 plus minus the square root of 4i squared is 2i. And then times the square root of 3 over 6. So um, we further simplify this because uh, we can still reduce this one. Alright, by 2, 6, divide by 2 is 3, plus minus um, 2i, divide by 2 is i, the square root of 3, all over 6 is 2 times 3, so we're going to cancel out 2. So our solution set would be x is equal to 3 plus minus i, the square root of 3, over 3. Okay, so the two solutions would be 3 plus i squared of 3 over 3 and x is equal to 3 minus i the squared of 3 over 3. So we have two complex number solutions or imaginary numbers solutions. So thank you for watching and hope to see you in my next videos.